still it's 43 degrees in here but as you can see she's not panting because of her little swimming pool there the babies are quite content as well i was just wish i could find a few more like that around about the place or something similar that i could use for the others but i've put aluminium insulation on the windows now so that makes it like the black hole of calcutta in here but uh with that and the, the two fans going it's uh taking the temperature down by three degrees wow got one male in here because he kept getting out and aggravating mauled out there the poor old morris he's absolutely cheesed off little uh little chick with the bad feet and the other one back with mum very happy to be why are you eating chippings and trying to get them to eat whole, whole corn dear you know as if they're going to be able to eat whole corn but uh which one is he i don't know which one he is now oh the one pecking to the left of the two at the back there i think but the first thing she did when i put them out after he got his bearings was tread on his toe and the second thing she did was with the food started to dig at the food and knocked him flying and i thought well way to go hen i just got him right and now you're going to kill him but he follows mum as you can see he's running beautifully he's, he's he's perfect absolutely perfect i am so so pleased if he doesn't make old bones doesn't matter he's he's out now with mum doing what guineas do brothers and sisters and um, perfect absolutely perfect i'm as chuffed to bits they're doing just fine oh she's panting it's too hot on you i've got to find a swimming pool for you too i haven't got one though for the minute now the good news is i think i have got another broody turkey he's up here is she around no She's not around. Let me go and see if she's on there. She was on the nest a couple of hours ago, and I thought maybe she was just laying. I thought she'd gone off late because there'd been a couple of uh, soft shelled eggs, well, no shell on them at all, laid in the stable. So I assumed she was going off or had gone off. The males weren't bothering with her either. They were, had no interest in her whatsoever, and she spent all her time up in the shade of the walnut tree during the day so I thought well I've got to reduce numbers I've got to do something with these three because I want to get um, broken shoulder and her babies out in the patch there and to relieve the, the agony of them in, in the stable and to give them some shade and some fresh air Here she's on the nest now are you going broody old girl are you brooding because if you are you're coming straight into the stables Number one, you won't cook in there. Let's see if she hisses at me. You gonna hiss at me, dear? No? You too exhausted? You too hot to hiss at me? Have you got an egg under there? I can't feel an egg. Or are you just laying? I don't know, I think she's just too hot to do anything. Oh, the feathers have gone up. What are you doing, old girl? Alright, I'm going to go and boil me some eggs. I think she's too hot to hiss. I'm going to go and boil me some eggs. I'm going to put them in the nest. I'm going to put her straight in the stable. She's a diet here in this heat anyway. So, like Maud, three days ago, 40 degrees outside. She was under a few strands of rushes, sitting on three eggs. The babies were all in the rushes trying to keep cool. She was so exhausted, so hot, she couldn't even walk. I put her straight in the shed and sprayed her with water to cool her down quickly. And there was, I say, three eggs in there. She decided she was going to brood them out in the full force of the sun. Oh my God. Just with a few strands of rushes on her. You're on the cover, you mate. Yes, you are. In the stable. There goes me wood. Out of the way. Thank you. Wind. Mind you, it's a very welcome wind. It's not hot like it was the other day. It's a cool wind. So. Yeah, we'll repair that in a minute. Well, I won't need it. Well, I could. There won't be anybody out here. Because I'll put that fence across the door there to keep everything that side. Clean out these two stables. And maybe put another one in there too. 
But uh, yeah, she'll be going in there with her eggs. I'll do that in a second. I'll boil my eggs up first and uh, get her in, get her out of the sun. Where's your other two? And uh, she can have the chicken eggs in the incubator. Well, I'm down to 11 now. Um, the others were infertile. But I have had 16 now, I think. So, 5, no, 17, 8, I, don't, I can't remember. A load, I think it's 4 or 5 were infertile. They weren't going anywhere, so I don't know what hen made those. But they're quite big eggs, which is a pain. Because they've been nice big chickens. Roosters. And one started to grow, but that's died. I left it in the incubator just to go, but I know it's dead. It's not going anywhere. The others seem quite healthy. So she can have them, and that means I won't have to kill her. So I've been saved, and she's been saved. All I need to do is get rid of the two miles. Where's he gone? There he is. Yeah, you're going to be joined by your brother in a minute, mate. You're better off in here, cooler. Can't kill him if it's too damn hot. Can't even kill him at night. It's too damn hot at night. Well, there we are. Come on, Morris. <coughs> All right, now bore me eggs. She was just in her pond. I want to see if she'll get back in. and The babies won't go in yet. But I just want to see if she'll get in and... Uh, shower her babies but she's been in just come out so she's cooled down oh, i just wish i'd had the video camera when i put that in there the relief on her face you didn't need words just the relief on her face was something else Abs absolute ecstasy she was in just standing in there she put her head up shut her eyes and she was she was saying oh thank god for that this is bliss, this is heaven. And then all the babies came around and she was digging the water. You're treading on that one's toe, you silly ass. Thank you. Digging the water and they were all picking around in the, where the water hit on the, the ground there, but in doing so, they were standing in the water as well. And so that was calling them down. Although they're sun lovers. Guinea fowl. Are you gonna venture in? She's telling them to go in and have a dip. I'm going to have to find a bigger cage bottom and put that outside when I get them out. Oh! He <laughs> said, no, it's too cold. But she's very happy. Well, I say, it's just a shame I don't have the video camera. Absolute bliss on her face. Absolute bliss. Body language, everything. This poor girl can't fan because she's only got one minute she can open, so... Not much cop. Oh, little person still doing fine. There he is. There. Head down. Picking up the floor. I wish he'd pack his food of the floor. But he keeps up with Mum now beautifully and uh, he's been under her twice. Let's see if he disappears. No, he's not taking any notice of Mum this time. <coughs> I wonder why. I don't know why. Two boys are in here now. <coughs> there, how the way there he goes. Yeah, he's okay. Looks like they're gonna want a second breakfast. And me little old turkey is in here. Safely installed with three boiled eggs in the nest. She was so hot down down there, she had stayed stayed there, so it was another hour and a half she'd been there. One egg in the nest. She was so hot. Of course, that's why I've got a watch that she doesn't continue to lay. But she probably will. But she was so hot. She was. She can walk. Got the fan going on her just a little. Cool her down, but she's got to be much better here than, than outside. But of course, if she continues to lay that, that will be a problem because that means so much longer the eggs have to stay in the incubator before I can put them under her. But it's less length of time that she needs to sit, and hopefully they won't cook like the pintard eggs did under her. Because the egg that she was sitting on was virtually boiled. So, uh, and but she was she was elevated over it. Couldn't walk, but she could stand. But the heat was killing her. She would have killed her if she had left her out there for another hour. She would have been dead, I reckon. But she she was standing elevated over the eggs, so... That's what she'll do in here. If the eggs get too hot, she'll just stand up and... 
guard them but not actually cook them whereas of course chickens don't seem to do that chickens will sit tight so that's the problem with little guineas I say they're tough little devils in the egg tough little devils hatching but there's only so much they can withstand and obviously the temperatures that we're in here with the wood angled across the, the nest to keep her secure because it hadn't been that hot and then all of a sudden it went from about 23 degrees to 33 38 40 degrees in a matter of 24 hours so she didn't elevate she sat tight her hence cooked chicks hopefully she'll recover and sit on the nest before much longer if she doesn't doesn't matter She's in her now, she's out of the heat, and frees up my two stables there to get broke the shoulder out, and then no tail. I want them to grow a bit more first, though. They're, they're still a bit tiny, but I'll get broken shoulder out definitely. And her babies will grow a lot quicker outside than they will do in here, and then I can move these into this stable where it's cooler and there's more airflow. So, for the moment all is good. I really do not believe this stupid freaking hen. Just heard a scream ringing out. Came up here and she was treading on little crippled feet. Now he's not right, he really isn't right. I swear hen, if you've damaged him and he dies, you get gassed. And I'll give them to the turkey when she's hatched her chicken eggs out. Stupid damn animal. So you cook your babies because you can't lift up when it's too damn hot. And now you've just done that damn I killed him. And you aren't my baby. No, I don't think you are, are you? They're precious. Steady, 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 steady. You poor little soul. I don't know which part she trod on him. I just heard the screams ringing out. And I was down the other end and came back and see him struggling on the floor. Careful, careful, careful. After all that, after all the struggling I did to get his feet straight and all the suffering that he had to go through for me to get his feet straight and then that stupid bitch goes and treads on him. No, go on, tread on him again. Bloody bitch. Well, it's all changed today. I've put the uh, turkey outside, which I'll video in a minute. What are you squawking about? Have you laid an egg or something? No. Um, with her baby's old uh, broken shoulder, she's gone out. And tonight I'm going to put no towel next to her with the grill up. So they can get used to each other because I don't know how they're all going to respond with their babies. And I've put old Babs here out with her babies with old noisy bear neck there. And her 13. So I'm just going to let the grill down. Oh, and we've got two at large out there. Oh my word. They really are the bitter end, these chicks. And if a fight ensues between this lot and them then I'm afraid she'll go back with her mates in the tin hut and the babies will uh, be put in the stable because they're just going to get picked off doing that. I mean, I've got this small fence in down there. What they do, they fly up on the small fence in, stand on the top of it and then go through the squares. And I'm certainly not buying more fencing just to keep them in. So they'll have to go in the stable if they don't stay where they're supposed to be.
All right. Oh, I'll put that back here. Come on then, you people. Right, you come. Come on then. Come on then. Come and have a look at this lot. See what happens. I've never uh, mixed mothers and babies before. Because I've always hatched my own, so I've never needed to worry about whether the mothers would fight or anything because I say, all the babies get got put together and in the stable and then from the stable outside. All in one go. I used to keep the chickens and the guineas away from the turkeys for blackhead disease reasons, but turkeys never went anywhere where the chickens and guineas had been, but of course this year I've got guineas being hatched out. See, there you go. See, it gets up there. But it's got trapped, it can't get through. Ah, you're bitten off more than you can chew there, aren't you, stupid thing? Right, here we go. All oh, right. Oh, it's going to break its wings. That's one. They really are swines. And they're the ugliest things, this side of the black stump. I don't know what's going to happen. Stand off. Run back to mum. That one there looking is a rooster. This little one here to the left is a hen. I don't know what sex the turkeys are. The way they carry on, I'd say they're both females to be perfectly honest, but I don't know. But we've got two roosters and two hens out of the chicks. These two are hens, those two are roosters. And oh yeah, typical. The two females come out and face the music, the two males run. Absolutely typical. Come on you lot. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything so ugly in your life? Let's get a close up of that. That is, has got to be the ugliest chick I think I have ever seen. Even she wonders what on earth it is. Because that can't be a chicken. That really cannot be a chicken. Of course the problem would be is tonight when I put them in, if, if they will get mismothered and end up in the wrong, wrong stables or in our pig houses. Love my pig houses, they're lovely and cool. Warm in the winter and lovely and cool in the summer. Not the same though for the for the house that's stone and the walls are thicker. Exactly the same, but that is freezing in the winter and you cook in the summer. I think I'll move out here and live in the, the pig sheds. Don't think the other one's got through. Come on, little turkey person, you're going to get left behind. This is a pretty good little thing. Looks like a Vicky Victor cross, but she's not. But Victor may well be her dad, I suppose, because they, they're all her eggs. They're not uh, mixed eggs. They're her 13 eggs. That she laid all herself under. Come on then. Come on then, dears. Come on, my preciouses. You can come out here. Come and have some fun. I've got to watch you, though, aren't I? And the first sign of being a bit depressed and a bit miserable, I'm going to force feed you with a good old cat's claw to protect you, just in case you go down with blackhead because all these chickens. And we've had the, all the chickens were out here for quite a few months with the beginners there. Come on then baby. Come on. I'm gonna have to go and chase that one round. Don't know where it's going. There. Oh that one's gonna have a peck. Actually I thought they were quite minute these uh, bare neck chicks but compared to the Rhode Island crosses they're quite big. Don't you peck my turkey now. Oh, you're obviously a rooster. That is an ugly thing, that thing now. That is so immensely ugly. I don't know what it reminds me of. Prehistoric monster.
So you're a little rooster, are you? That's a shame. Don't you peck them now. Babs, look after your babies. Tell that off. So I'm just going to get out into the shade. Because they were cooking in the caravan. Although they, they got their two little patches and it's in the shade for most of the day. For some reason the, the air doesn't seem to... The air flow doesn't seem to get round there. And when it does, it just blows boiling hot off the land. So... Poor Maud's suffering too. Even with a swimming pool like the other day now. Oh, you're a cocky little thing, aren't you, eh? Yeah, real cocky little person you are. Oh, that one's gone off there on its own. You see that's a female. Just don't care, just goes off and does its thing. That's it, you tell that one off. Are you going to tell it off again for getting in your face? No? They get picked all the time by their own mother but she's still a certain amount of protection for them, so I'm not going to take her away yet. I think Babs is probably going to take most of them under her wing as well. She's a very amenable hen, even though she enjoys breaking eggs. Unnecessarily, she is a amenable hen, aren't you? Don't peck my foot. Oh, well, that one's gone off on a walkabout all by itself. I want to see if this one's come through the fence yet. Oh, oh God, I'm strings everywhere. Hang myself. Washing line myself. Oh, no, it's in there now. That's another ugly thing. I mean, just look at the state of that. I mean, that is grim. You're not going to get through there now, are you? Hey? No, because you're going up where there's all the wire. So come along a bit, stupid thing. Come along a bit. Now jump up there. Somebody attack it so it comes through. Come on, somebody fly for it, do something. Oh, give me strength. So I don't know if they're all here. I only had 12 last night and I saw another one out, out there. And as I was about to retrieve it, it disappeared and I thought, oh my God, it's I'm buzzled or something's come down and whipped it away without me even noticing. I thought, well, that can't be the case. And it had come back through the fence on its own and come back. Where's it gone? I'm attacked by flowers. Well, that, that's vanished. Where's it gone now? Not there, are you? No. Where on earth is it? Oh, well, that, that's a Houdini, isn't it? You know, it just vanishes. That's probably the one that vanished last night. And then appeared suddenly back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I've only got seven here. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, the two hens are going to fight. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, break it up. Break it up, break it up, madam. She's smaller than you. Pick on somebody your own size. Ever next. And don't you strut your stuff either, missus. You peck your babies, that's enough. Well, I don't know who started that. Mm. Well, if that's gonna happen with the turkeys, I'm gonna have real trouble, aren't I? Hopefully they'll sort their differences out without beating the ordure out of each other. Oh, I think that one must have come through the fence without me seeing it. That was obviously the one that was out there last night and just suddenly miraculously appeared. Oh, we'll soon know tonight. They'll either be 13 or they won't. All right, well, as long as they keep apart from each other, We'll be okay. No, you're not going out there, Babs. I know that's where you live, but you're not going out there. You do know the area out here. You were out here for months, so... There's no problem. Right, now I'm going to go and see me turkeys, see what they're up to, me baby guineas. 
and thoroughly enjoying themselves being out. Hello, you. You're a pretty little person, aren't you? Are you male or female? Have you got the start of spurs? Oh, I can't see. Yes, I think you probably have. Stand still. Yes, you have. You're a rooster. You're a little rooster. God, it's so hot out here. Oh, God, you're minging. That's an unusual little one. That's pretty in an ugly sort of way. It's got some nice markings on it. When am I only going to get a sandwich out of this lot, though, aren't I? When they're ready for the, for the freezer. One sandwich and they're gone. But... Never mind. I'm sorry, I got the, I need down to ten eggs now, ten chicken eggs in the in the incubator. I'm still waiting for the turkey to go broody. She's still laying. I'm about to put a male with her because she was fretting. So uh, she's still sort of semi fretting, but not half as bad as she was. I'm hoping that she'll go off laying as soon as she goes off lay. She'll she'll go broody. I think by that time the eggs would have hatched. So it's a, a wait and see and hope for the best, too. Oh, now, are we going to have another fight? Or are we going to allow each other to drink without having a punch up? She shows no animosity to little black bear necks babies at all. But I doubt little black bear neck would be as gentle with her babies somehow if they get in her way. I suspect she would beat the whatnot out of them like she does her own. But it'd be quite nice if they can all get on together out here. So much better for this lot, so much cooler. We've got more to pick at and far more room to roam. And then when the other hens, uh, guineas are, what, three weeks, a month old, I'll bring them out to they can come out here. They'll be in the caravan first, but... They don't come out here. Don't know where they're going to live. Ooh, she's bleeding. She she really got her. Poor old Babs. You can't go out there, baby. No. I'm not having your babies out there with that lot. So, oh, that one's over there. She couldn't care less. Little hen. Where's the other one going? Oh, she's there. She's there. And two roosters are here. With the two turkeys. Well, that little one, she's obviously a little hen. She's quite happy to have new playmates. Hmm? 